Harry, we're here beside the slurry storage, um, one of the slurry storage tanks. There's obviously a lot of slurry uh, created on the farm here. It needs to be managed. Yeah, uh, I suppose when we were down in the dairy, we were talking about water and obviously milk and the other big big part of his infrastructure for slurry. So for slurry, we have two tanks here, with two slurry tanks as far as one is one million gallon and the other one's two million gallon down here. Um, there is a biogas plant um, which uses some of the slurry, but essentially what these two tanks are is reception tanks and then it's pumped to, uh, I think it's around eight million gallon lagoon uh, a distance away. But what's kind of unique about this farm is everything where the pumping stations are everything's put out around the land on umbilical so it's very easy like all right there's a lot to deal with but the way it's managed it's quite easy to get rid of it as such you're not having yeah. to bring tankers in to draw it in and out all the time and i suppose silage is silage ground is hungry for nutrients so i suppose the, it, it's a valuable resource to have to put back on again yeah well we're talking about you know as far as silage ground we're talking about 1600 acres of land that they silage and then the total on the farm is 2300 which is around them so you know as you said it takes a lot of slurry price of fertilizer at the minute it's a valuable resource at present yeah so the He's digestor then on the far side. That's um, operated by a third party, is it? It's a third. It's a third party that they have installed it, and the 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 deal is at the farm. It's three way partners, investor, installer, and then the farm itself. Um, the farm gets the electricity off it, and as long as they can supply it with slurry. So this is a slowly a, a slurry only digester. There's no waste products or byproducts put in or or in some essences what we're seeing is actually ground instead of being used for you know either dairy cows or for food it's you know basically fuel for cut cut off the ground and fuel for the digesters that that doesn't happen here it's purely a slurry only system okay so and the farmer here can get access to the electricity after is that right? Yes, he gets the, that's his part of the deal for supplying the the product that fuels it. He gets the electricity out of it. Okay. Or part of the electricity out of it. Yeah. So Gary, we've come up here now to basically a lagoon that's well away from the farmyard. It's about a mile away, is it? Yeah, it's a it's a mile away, um, and it's pumped as we've seen the other slurry stores. It's pumped up to here, so with the digester it comes through here and a lot more liquid you can see there it's, it's very liquidy and viscosity but this was built a uh, about a year and a half ago and it's it's around six million gallon and uh, it has its outlets of the far side gravity and then as you can see it, it's 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 well done as far as like it's all fenced off it's safe for people as well to be driving around here um, and it's just a uh, it's in one of the silage fields from the farm yeah, so, and it, is it pumped from the, fa the farm, the main yeah. farm, the main yard? Yeah, it's yeah. pumped directly from underground. the main farm. To, underground, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'll see some pumping stations around, uh, the uh, pumping stations and isolation points as well around, around okay. the farm. Is, yeah, and I think I'd be right in saying that like, they, were, they were smart with the pr preparation of the site and the civils and how they use levels yeah. in terms of creating a, uh, I suppose there's an outlet down the field here that the tanks or the, the cord system is not sucking, it's, it's yeah. gravity fed to the to pump on a yeah it's, it's gravity fed to it you can see up around as well one of the one of the locations why this was chosen was again as you said the elevation but also a uh, was around because it's in the corner of the field they're not losing a lot of silage ground either but as far as for yeah ease of use you have it it's flowing down to a, a station for for the hook on to as such whether that be for umbilical or for tankers but most yeah. of the farm is spread with all with umbilical yeah and well access as well a new a, it's a nice road here plenty of gates that are locked as well for security but it's it's well serviced with access yeah you know it's like you know just to get around the farm like everything's good good roadways um it's easy to drive drive around it you know you don't need to be in a tractor like you can get around most of it in a jeep or a pickup as such uh, but yeah it's just easy to get to with this yeah cool